Python is one of the easiest programming languages to start with, thanks to its simple syntax and readability. However, becoming an expert requires mastering deeper concepts. Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video, you're gonna learn the three essential techniques that will help you write cleaner, more efficient and optimized Python code. Tip number one, write readable code. Writing code is not just about getting it to work. It's about making it easy to read and maintain. Readable team ensures that both you and other developers can understand and modify your code in the future. Following Python's PAP8 style guidelines makes your code easier to read and maintain, which provides best practices for writing clean, readable code. Let's look at a simple example. Here is a bad example. This function works, but it's a mess. What does F even mean? What are A and B? We have no clue. And instead, let's rewrite this using meaningful variable names. Now, anyone reading the code understands what's happening instantly. Here are a key takeaways for readable code. To write clean and readable Python code, you always use clear and descriptive variable names, maintain proper indentation, write useful comments when needed. These small changes make a big difference in making your code understandable and maintainable. Tip number two, master list compressions. List compressions are a more Pythonic way to create lists. They make your code more concise and readable. And instead of writing multiple lines, repetitive loops, you can achieve the same result in a single elegant line of code. Let's compare two approaches. Here is the traditional way to create a list of squares. While this works fine, but it's longer than necessary, there is a more efficient way using list compressions. Let's rewrite this using a list compression. Check this out. With list compressions, we can achieve the same result in just one line. It is much cleaner, easier to read, and Pythonic. Let's explore another powerful compression technique. List compressions are not just for lists. You can also use them to create dictionaries efficiently. Here is an example. Now, each key value pair represents a number and its square. This is a great way to create mappings in Python efficiently. Now, let's move on to the third and final tip, writing efficient Python code using big O notation. When writing Python code, efficiency is key. The way you structure your code affects its performance. Let's say you have 1,000 papers to sort. You could do it manually, one by one, or you could use a sorting machine that completes it in seconds. This is where big O notation comes in. It helps us measure how fast or slow our code runs as the input size grows. Let's dive deeper. Here is a quick overview of common time complexities. Big of one is the fastest constant time operations like dictionary lookups. Big of n is a slower linear time like a for loop grows proportionally. Big of n square is very slow. It is a nested locus, slows dramatically with larger inputs like bevel sort. Big of log n is the fastest efficient algorithm for large data sets like quick sort. Now let's see an example. Here is a function that finds duplicate values using nested loops. This approach has big of n square complexity, meaning it gets significantly slower as the list grows. And instead, we can use a more efficient approach. A better way to sort data is quick sort, which runs in big of n log n time. By using divide and conquer, quick sort runs much faster than nested loops. Let's summarize what we have learned so far. Writing clean, readable code is essential. List compressions make your code concise. Dictionary compressions enhance efficiency. Understanding Bigo helps you optimize your code. By applying these concepts, you will become a better Python programmer. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite Python trick below. Stay tuned for more Python tips and tricks. Keep coding and mastering Python.